I am Caroline Barrett. I am 12 years old. I'm Jack Dooley, and I'm 11. I have food allergies, which makes me allergic to a lot of things. And I have elemental allergies, which makes it hard to be outside sometimes. And then I have this thing called ELE. Jack has a condition called eosinophilic esophagitis, which basically means his food mistakes, or his body mistakes food for a virus. He may um, experience pain, he may experience choking, he may experience food stopping as it goes down. Um, it may make him vomit. So it's really disruptive to his life. Caroline was first diagnosed with cancer when she was 15 months old. I took her to the pediatrician and they did an MRI of the brain and CT of the neck and chest. And my husband around, and I around 11 o'clock in the morning received a call saying that um, they had found a, a mass in Caroline's chest and that it was cancerous. Caroline had her tumor removed when just a few weeks later and uh, her diagnosis was very good. Her margins were clear, um, very positive outlook. Um, she had a 1% chance that she would ever have cancer again. It came back, so then during fourth grade, I was diagnosed with um, cancer. This time when they did the diagnostic testing, her margins weren't clear. Um, they had found that the cancer had metastasized to her hip. So at that time, we were thrust into the whole world of cancer treatment. And I had to go through six rounds of chemo, 12 days of radiation, stem cell transplant, six months of antibody therapy. It took about 14 months to complete my treatment. I haven't met any other kids with this condition. I'm, there are some, um, but I just, I'm not aware of any. Sometimes it makes me feel a little different and stuff, but overall I try not to pay too much attention to it. It made me pray upset I had this day. <laughs> it was just very scary. I just, that's the only thing I really have to say about it. My insides don't match my outsides. Cause, um, I can control my pain pretty well. So I like crack jokes and I normally look pretty, pretty normal um, when I'm in pain or I was just about to have uh, my sixth surgery, and um, my mom was say, saying that I should get a anointing of the sick. Caroline has received the sacrament of the anointing of the sick four times. All these times that uh, she received the sacrament, we, we, I really felt God's grace. Um, he's just always been by our side through all these trials. I had a very vague um, understanding of the anointing of the sick. I thought it was for like people with terminal with diseases and stuff. Um, my initial thing I think was some, saying something like, am I gonna die or something? Or am I, am I that serious or something? At no time did I ever feel that that's why Caroline should have had this sacrament administered to her. Always had hope in the Lord and his goodness um, in this situation that he would see us through it. It's not really losing hope, it's just kind of a little help from God if you need it to help you keep moving along. I knew he needed something to assist him with his healing, even if it wasn't physical healing, if it was helping him to gain strength to continue enduring what he needs or what he has. I think that the anointing of the sick helped me. Uh, God presented an opportunity for me to feel better. I see a change in Jack where he handles these, the things that make him different with EOE. He handles that with a manner that many, many adults could never do. And I know he finds his strength through his belief and his relationship with God. My experience really um, helped my faith a lot, made me closer to God by a lot. <laughs> um, 
it made me really appreciate what how awesome our God is. I didn't really have to worry.